right, guys. Carrie Booney Tenor to Full Circle with Joyce. It is about 9.41 a.m. right now. And um, just a few minutes to go until the top of the hour, but enough time for us to get into our DIY segment. With me here is Joanne Wende, who's a DIY content creator. Karibu Busan to the show. And we want to talk about making decorative sea urchins. And she has some beautiful samples here to show us this morning. Karibu Busan to the show. Thank you. Now, tell me about these. These, I'm sure many of you guys have seen these in like, you know, glam decor magazines or in fancy furniture stores. And the price tag on them can sometimes be very ridiculous, right? Yes. And here we are being told we need to be saving. So tell me how you came up with the concept of making your own sea urchins, decorative sea urchins. So it started with, I've seen this online and they were so expensive mm -hmm. and I couldn't import them. So I thought I'd come with something similar and uh, using local items yeah. that you can easily get. And it's quite cheap yeah. because I use the barbecue sticks, the ones that you use when you yes. mishkaki. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, styrofoam balls. Which are easy to find as well. Exactly. Tell me about the cost ranges of stuff like this online from what you've seen. From what I saw, they were ranging from uh, $50 Yes. That's like 5,000 bob. Exactly. Least. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what are the core materials needed then to create this? You've talked about the styrofoam balls, the mish mishkaki sticks. Yes. <laughs> That's it. And uh, you need uh, the glue. So I prefer using the glue gun. Oh, glue gun. Yeah, okay. because it's, uh, it's quite strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use your spray paint. Whichever okay. color that you want. Okay. So you can do an ombre effect using black and a gold spray paint nice. or you can use gold spray paint all through is this one painted no it's spray paint it's just the spray yeah. paint as well black and a gold yes okay um so let me just uh i want to i actually want to see this one let me first pull it up and then I'll, I'll read some feedback this is gorgeous so this is what you're saying is ombre yes there's black in the center of it and then gold outside it looks absolutely stunning i would love this in my house um um and so i don't know how many of you guys would try this out again here we literally have mishkaki sticks <laughs> and some styrofoam balls and so let me see as i read out some more of your feedback as we carry on here uh double two triple nine is the sms line once again someone here says hey joyce ni jane from nakuru nadai kwanza sala na nimebai kila kitu but i don't know where to start what should i do i only have 10k and it was part of my resolutions for 2020 please help well i mean i would encourage you to take part in this challenge as um uh, Kenny there had said and maybe we need to do a show also on how to get started with with minimum capital as well um, Hello Joyce, please ask the guests how to kill off the bad debt and still save something Very important question there. I'm afraid we didn't have time for it But from what I understand it is very important to finish paying off your debt because if you don't it's still adding on interest right so clear up your debt and then i think you can focus on saving that's what i would say i don't know if that's professional advice though but maybe we need to have another segment for financial wellness specifically talking about debt management um again purity here saying very interesting savings plan i'd love to try it and uh some more feedback here let's see dominic bakari i see you asante sana um I had read Carol, Joel Chacha, I see you as well. Good morning, Joyce. Lots of people sending in their good morning uh, wishes, although some of you are not leaving me your names or where you're watching from, but shout out to you as well um, for being a part of the show. With that said and your feedback there again, you can keep that coming to double two triple nine and also on Facebook and Twitter at Switch TV Kenya and on Instagram at Switch TV KE. Let's get back to our DIY segment um, and um, here with Joanne once again. And so this one, it seems you cut the styrofoam ball in half. Yes, in half. So this one you can hang it on the wall. And oh, okay. Yeah, so you can do a set of maybe three That's gorgeous. or you can do five and yeah. yes. And it gives that nice 3D effect. Yeah, exactly. Very, very nice. Okay, so I want us to get like making one. Okay. What do we do? So what you need, you'll need your balls. Mm -hmm. And then you'll need your sticks. 
So yeah. depending on the length that you'd like, you'll cut, cut it. Them. Okay. Yeah, so these are 12 inch. So I did cut them in three so okay. that at least you get the size. Okay. Yeah. This one is cut in what size? That one was in half. Okay. Yeah, for the 12 inch. Okay. So typically the hot glue gun does require electricity, which exactly. we're not going to be able to do right now. Um, but we can just demo these nonetheless. So after you've taken your ball, mm -hmm. you're going to take your khaki sticks mm -hmm. and you. You just insert. Is there like a pattern, like as far as like a direction on how to insert them? No, you can just eyeball it. Oh, okay. So yeah. let me be trying that. I can just eyeball it. This one's crooked and it's bothering me because I have slight OCD. <laughs> okay. So after you poke the hole, you're going to remove the stick, apply your, your, glue, your glue. So that it stays. Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So how long does it typically take you to make one of these? Maybe like 10 minutes. Really? Yes. You're kidding? It, it, takes, it takes minimal time. Are you now selling these? I have gotten some orders. I did this for my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. And from there, people started requesting for them. Look at you. It's always nice to hear how someone's hobby or a craft that they did just to solve their own problem um, suddenly now becomes a business. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm trying to do this, guys. I don't have glue with me, okay? <laughs> this one's refusing to stick. Maybe I put it too far and let me move it here. But you can use this sharp end to poke the hole to poke the hole yeah in. okay okay all right so again you're, you're saying Ainam pango you can just do it the way you want the yeah. way you feel like it as thick as you want exactly if you okay. want more sticks you just reduce the space the gaps in between okay yeah and then so once you have the shape like that one looks like it's not painted yet yeah it's right? not painted so just yet. pass us that one eventually you'd get to something like this yeah right so from here you'd just continue inserting these sticks wherever you feel right yes eventually you'd come to something like this yes all right now i want to look at the paintwork that you've done for this one can i hold it like this yeah you can it's strong enough okay yeah. for this one it has, again, a lot of the, it's an ombre effect to more of the gold though. Yes. Very pretty. So this one, I guess, would have to sit on a table. Yeah. Okay. Same as this one. Yeah. Yeah. And ideally even, I guess you could decide, I saw you with a black styrofoam ball. Yes. So I decided to paint it okay. black. And so then, that you don't have the gaps. Yeah. And then I'll do a black spray paint on top. So okay. the whole thing will be black. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So now, now that you're selling these, um, how do people get in touch with you and how much are you charging for them? So people usually DM me on my Instagram page, DIY with Jojo. Mm -hmm. And uh, it depends on the size that you'd like. Okay. So for the large size, it's uh, 1,000 shillings. And then for the smaller size, it's 500. So this one, sorry, this one you said is how much? 1,000. 1,000 bob. Yeah. And this is 500. And that's so kind, considering like you'd pay 5,000 bob for these things abroad. <laughs> and then you've not even paid for the shipping. Exactly. What other DIY crafts though are you doing? I do paper flowers. Okay. And also upcycling. Okay. I get uh, like old furnitures and uh, refurbish them. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about then styling these and where to put them in the house. Like this one, this could sit, I guess, on a coffee table. Yes. Right? As is. Or, or even your console table, mm -hmm. uh, just at your entry. And also, you can also put these ones, you can hang them on the wall. Or another option would be placing them on top of your coffee table books. Yeah, I like the way you're saying that this could actually go on a wall. Like really cool art. And supposing you had different sizes with the... Yes. Oh, child, I might be giving you a call after this. <laughs> um, but I really like this. I, I especially love the ombre feel. I'm going to make a full circle. No, no, no. To decorate up a sindio a crew and a sema to wake up a jew to pump a set kidogo. Um, and uh, when you're doing the spray painting, is there any sort of technique that one needs to follow for the spray paint? You just have to spray it like 12 inches from the item that you're spraying okay. and also do it outside, yeah, because the fumes are very strong, okay, yeah. And all of these are materials you've bought in Kenya, yes, they're locally. These ones you can get them from any supermarket, even the spray paint. You wow. can get it from any supermarket. Okay. How many coats of spray paint are we talking about? Like that one's very shiny. 
you can do like two coats the first one and then after it has dried you do a second one okay yeah so between the poking in the sticks into the styrofoam mm -hmm. the painting this you could literally be done with in say an hour two an hours hour, let's say 30 minutes it doesn't take minutes. time yeah what's the biggest size you've ever done this is my biggest size right yeah does balance at any point become an issue no like when if you, you want it have you ever tried doing it with just this length of a stick I've not tried it, mm -hmm. but is if it you're possible? using the glue gun, it will hold okay. because the glue gun is so strong. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Really, really amazing. I want to hear from you guys what you think about this art here that um, Joanne has been making. Uh, double two triple nine is the SMS line. And again, this just to show you what a, a, I guess a completed ish one would look like. It's like this with just Mishkaki sticks um glued on here poked in and glued back and this one i guess you could cut it if you want the styrofoam yes at the you bottom. can okay or you can just do a complete one and uh, fill up or you could continue spaces. it yeah amazing amazing um let me check out your feedback hopefully you guys are enjoying this segment as much as i am double two triple nine once again is the sms line tuned in from kasarani loving the show um hey, guys i've noticed that these are the earrings i was given yesterday <laughs> uh, by one of our guests who was doing jewelry thank you very much a lot of you have commented on that um uh, cecilia from embakasi says wow this looks really really gorgeous thank you for that uh, let me get to our Facebook page and check out what guys are saying there. Um, and of course, Joanne here is going to give us her handles. And you also have a YouTube channel. Yes, I do. Did you now start this out of doing all of these crafts? Yes, I wanted to showcase the DIYs that you can do using local materials. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Using local materials. I really like that because it means that you can still accomplish the same sort of glam that yeah, exactly. we see yes. without having to break the bank. Mm -hmm. um, really amazing. Okay, let me refresh this for us as we get to some more feedback here. I love this, the sea urchins DIY. She should make money from it. Good job. She certainly is. Once again, tell us about your page and how much you're charging for these. So my page is DIY with Jojo on Instagram and also on YouTube. And uh, the large size is uh, 1,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. And uh, this smaller one is 500 bob. Okay, all right. Um, what do you think is going to be your next project? And have you ever tried like doing non-metallic paint colors on these? Like, can you color these a different color other than black and gold? Yes, you can. You can use also acrylic paints. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can paint the sticks, but it takes a lot of time. Because Those ones you have, have to paint it individually. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So spray paint is much easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what's, what's your next project? I'm very curious at what else you're going to design now. What, what are some of the things you want to work on? Or are there interesting things that maybe your fans and people who follow your work have asked you to do? There's, a, there's an Ottoman that I want to do using cartons. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm planning to do it in the next two weeks. Okay. And also people have been requesting that I do... DIY is using mirrors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those so are very popular upcoming. too. Yeah. And in fact, these could still kind of work like when you have them on the cardboard too, right? Yes. You yes, can still yeah. use these sticks. I'm just so impressed that it's a mshkaki stick, you guys. <laughs> a mshkaki <laughs> stick. And it produces this. Really amazing. Thank you so much for coming onto the show today. I really do appreciate your time. Congratulations on Thank all of you. this success. Can't wait to see what else you're going to um, produce with your crafts. Thank you for having me. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the show. And I really want to thank you guys for engaging with me today. Double two triple nine again remains our SMS line. I'd love to hear your feedback. What did you most enjoy on the show today? Um, what are some of the things that you would like to see on the show? And of course, remember, you can continue nominating yourselves or others for our makeover segment coming up on Friday. Specifically, me, I want to see a mama. I want to see someone nominate their mom, right? I want to see someone nominate their mom for this. And then, of course, as Valentine's Day comes up around the corner, we're going to have a, a special one for that as well. Someone here is saying, hey, Joyce, it's Jerry from Juja. Say hi to Joanne. Amazing pieces right there. Uh, please ask her where she got the glue gun from. And get it from shops on river roads. Okay. Yeah, for okay. like 700 shillings. 
the great thing Aki, Kenya, you can find everything nowadays. Yes, you can. Like you just need to do a bit of looking. Yes. And you can find everything. Um, Cecilia from Invercassi, I think I'd read that one, says it's uh, gorgeous. Uh, hello, Joyce, this is so good. Um, another one says, hey, Joyce, it's Ernest. The art is amazing and I'm loving the show. Someone here says, fresh from Kambu Road. She's doing a good, good job. Big up to you guys. And Joyce, you're looking great. Asante Sana for that. I think with that, I need to wrap up the show. Let's meet here again tomorrow at 8 a.m. for even more Full Circle with Joyce. We're going to have so much in store for you. You don't want to miss out on that, on it. And so with that said, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. <laughs>